Hello friends, welcome to the wacky world of Mrs. S. Today I'm going to read Monarch and Milkweed. This is by Helen Frost and Leonid Gore. In a patch of dirt behind an old red barn, milkweed stretches into warm spring air. Its roots reach deep and wide. Its stem points to the sky. Monarch spreads her wings and rides the wind past white and yellow daisies across a creek heading north. Milkweed's new leaves push out, then purple flowers, soft and round and fragrant. Monarch finds a dandelion, drinks its nectar and flies on. She stops again, rests and drinks and flies again. Milkweed stretches taller, two by two, its leaves spread wide, sheltering long-legged spiders, black and orange beetles. Monarch lights on milkweed, drums her feet on milkweed's flower, and tastes home. Milkweed's flowers fall away. Green pods push out. Inside these bumpy fits, new seeds are forming. Monarch finds a mate and stays with him all afternoon, all night into the morning. Eggs in her body grow heavy. She searches for milkweed. A breeze bends milkweed side to side. Monarch chooses its best leaf. Swaying in the breeze with milkweed, she curls her body underneath the leaf and glues one pale yellow egg to its soft underside. She flies from milkweed plant to milkweed plant, stopping on each one to lay one shiny egg. Inside Monarch's egg, a caterpillar forms and four days later pushes out, shorter than an eyelash, almost invisible against the leaf's pale green. It eats the shell that held it, then moves across the leaf. It eats the leaf, it grows. And when it grows too big to fit inside its skin, it crawls right out. New skin already formed beneath the old. Yellow, black, and white, the monarch caterpillar feeds on milkweed's bitter leaves and grows. Four times the caterpillar sheds its skin, and then one evening in late summer, it weaves a sturdy pad under a milkweed leaf, hangs upside down, and shapes its body like a J. Its feelers droop, and one last time it sheds its skin. It twists and turns and pulls its body up, transforming into a chrysalis. It hangs beneath the leaf, a shining jewel, jade green speckled with gold. Twelve days, the monarch chrysalis shines in noontime shadows. Twelve nights, it waits under the moon and stars. It grows darker, gray, then black and orange as new monarch wings shine through. Early one morning, the chrysalis splits open. A new monarch steps out. Moist wings pressed against her body, she clings to the clear case of the chrysalis as warm air dries her wings. She opens her wings, closes them, opens them wide. A light breeze lifts her and she flies. Milkweed's leaves, now full of holes, turn yellow, then brown. Their edges curl and they begin to fall. Monarch flies from purple zinnia to black-eyed Susan, drinking nectar, getting ready. As the days turn cool, she turns southward, toward warmer air, to begin her longest journey. Milkweed's pods are full. Its seeds are almost ready. In September's sun, the pod's strong walls turn dry and brown. Monarch flies and rides the wind, stopping only long enough to drink sweet nectar from a field of purple asters. She follows the last flowers of summer, and she flies on and on, almost 2,000 miles, all the way to Mexico. Milkweed's pods split open. Brown seeds lay close together on a soft white bed. October wind catches a silky trendle, opens it, and lifts a seed into the air. 
carrying it out and away across a river to an old white house. A kitten reaches up a paw and bats at the white puff until it disappears. Rain comes, snow comes, rain comes again. Sun warms the earth, earth warms the seed and under the dirt it opens. Roots reach down, a tip of green presses out and up towards warmth and light. Milkweed's first spring leaf unfurls. Far to the south in Mexico, Monarch rides the wind towards it. Thank you for joining me. See you again next time. Bye-bye.